Today we're going to have the first look at this, the Zoom H2N recorder. Is it a good recorder or a big piece of shit? Let's find out. Alright, here we've got the uh, box for the H2N handy recorder from Zoom. I'm going to do a little unboxing here. Brilliant stereo recording everywhere you go. That's awesome. Alright, let's see what else we got on the box here. A uh, picture of the recorder, great. Alright, and some text. And further down it says, package includes the recorder, 2 gig SD card, 2 AA batteries, and something called the Steinberg Wave Lab LE editing software, which I'm sure is wonderful. Designed by Zoom in Japan, assembled in China. Of course it is. And there's all the sorts of things you can supposedly do with it. Yeah, right. Journalism, yes. Uh, okay, let's open this thing up. See what we got in here. All right, we've got. Probably shouldn't have thrown that like that, because <laughs> I think the software was in there. Oh well. Uh, anyway, here's the box. Uh, we move this piece of whatever it is, and we pull on that. And, hey, what do you know? The box miraculously appeared again. <laughs> and, at any rate, here's the actual recorder itself. What else do we have here? 2 gig SD card. Uh, some AA batteries. Piece of cardboard. And... That's it for that. And what else do we have? We've got a packet of stuff. So we tear into this. And some sort of advertising for their other stuff. Yay. And a copy of WaveLab SLE7. I'm sure that's fabulous. And the manual. Woohoo. I'll be sure to read every word of this. And yeah, installing the crappy software in both English and apparently Japanese. And a warranty card from Zoom which I'll, I'm sure I'll never fill that out. SD card usage precautions. Yeah, I've never used an SD card before. I have no idea how to handle it. But anyway, here's the main thing that we came to see, the Zoom recorder. It looks nice. It's much lighter than I thought it would be. Zoom H2N handy recorder. Well, it's, at least it knows what it is. Uh, all right, let me get the batteries in this and we'll continue from there. I say, you people, I'm terribly sorry to interrupt. But I don't know why any of you are watching this dreadfully unentertaining review video. I mean, this is the most boring review of an audio recorder I've ever watched. Plus, the chap reviewing it has remarkably big, ugly sausage fingers. Dreadful. Oh well, no accounts for taste, I suppose. Let's see how it ends. So here it is, I've put fresh batteries in it, the two crappy batteries that came with it, and the little 2 gig SD card, and we're ready to turn this on, see what happens, if anything, hopefully it will actually work. Yay! Alright, so 
here is the the microphone or the recorder I should say uh, I have no idea what any of this stuff does at the moment uh, I should read the documentation but I'll just take you around the unit here there's a screen here that tells you stuff which um, yeah volume control line in uh, a little spot for the uh, remote that comes with the accessory pack if you buy the accessory pack uh, headphone jack here, uh, micro USB, or is that mini? I don't know, whatever, one of the USBs. Uh, little light, recording lights or on light. Um, you know, the, the batteries fit under this cover. And there's this microphone gain knob on the side. Play button, menu button, hold button, hold and slash power button. Uh, the bottom is where the SD card goes, uh, and the socket for a tripod. And on the top is where you can change the setting for how you want it to record and to channel fortune. I'd have to read. I don't know. But for now, uh, let me just set it for, uh, set it for two channel, just to test here. Uh, I think I set that right, two channel? Yeah. So, let's start recording. Uh, right now you're hearing the microphone in the Canon S95 that's recording this. I'm going to switch the recording on here and... Okay, I screwed up. The microphone gain was set way too low in the original video, so I had to redo the audio part here. Uh, still, this is on the uh, little recorder. And it seems to be working fine and sounds pretty good. So uh, that's really all I've got. Um, thanks for watching.